you can text and like beat that bitch you know Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be filming today's video because it's about one of my favorite things, which is nails. Um, I am addicted to having long nails. If my nails aren't painted, my life isn't going. Um, so yeah, I'm just super passionate about nails. And today's video is gonna be talking to you guys about how I grew my nails really long, really fast, but also really strong so that they're not breaking all over the place. Um, so with these tips, you should be able to grow your nails really long, really fast. Um, there's no BS here. There's no weird products that you need to buy. It's literally just like the honest truth about how I got my nails to be super, super long. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Zoe. Uh, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe. I make videos about this kind of stuff, about fitness and spinning and just kind of lifestyle. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, if you like what you see from me, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. So, like I said, this video is about nails, so let's not waste any more time. Let's talk about it. All right, so these are what my nails look like. These are my real nails, and they're pretty long right now, but I have had them longer in the past. Um, I just got them done a few days ago, so I got them cut a bit shorter. And to some people, this is too long. Some of my friends say that's disgusting. Um, but I don't care. I love long nails. So you don't need to grow your nails out like this long for this video to be helpful for you. This video is just going to talk about how to get like stronger, healthier nails um, overall. So to start, I want to talk about kind of like food and the role that food plays um, in growing out your nails as well as some supplements. Um, and then in the second half of the video, I'm going to talk about um, products and procedures aka getting your nails done, um, that you can do to your nails. So in terms of food, I noticed that my nails started growing super long when I started eating more fish. So fish has omega-3 in it, which is known for grow making your hair and your nails grow longer. So um, when I started eating fish almost every day, I did notice that my hair and my nails just went, like my, ha my hair's pretty long too. Um, my hair and my nails just started growing like crazy when I started eating fish every day so um, if you don't like fish or you don't um, want to eat fish like you're a vegetarian or vegan that's totally fine um, I really recommend taking an omega-3 supplement and I used to take one that was vegan I've been meaning to order it again I'll put a picture of it on the screen it was a vegan omega-369 so it didn't taste like fish or anything like that um, and it was really good so I really really recommend that other products that you can use to grow your nails will be things like folic acid and biotin. I used to do those to grow my hair and I didn't notice a crazy difference in my nails, um, but that's something you could try as well. Overall, just making sure that you're eating pretty healthy. Like I'm not going to say you need to be like a health queen in order to grow your nails because I don't think that's really true, um, especially with the products I'm going to talk about later. But just make sure you're getting greens in and I think drinking water, drinking lots and lots of water is also going to be really helpful for making your nails grow. So you can tell when your nails aren't healthy, they're going to feel really dry, they're going to feel really brittle, um, and that's probably when it's a sign that you're missing some sort of nutritional um, thing. So like I'm not a doctor and I'm really not a nutritional expert, so I'm not going to get into it, but just know that if your nails are always dry and they're always breaking, it could be nutritional, so you may want to like look into adding more omega-3s, perhaps more collagen, more water or more greens. Those are things that typically, I think, cause your nails to be dry. Another reason your nails might be dry is because of where you work. So if you work in cleaning, you're always having wet hands or using a lot of cleaning products, your nails and your hands will be super, super dry. Um, another environment that makes your nails really dry is working retail. When I worked retail, my nails were the freaking worse. They were always breaking, always chipping and cracking. Um, so it's really important if you're working in an environment um, that causes a lot of breakage and a lot of dryness to your nails that you're always putting on hand cream, especially making sure you're massaging it into your nail beds. Um, and if you can, when you're cleaning, wear gloves. So when you're washing the dishes, let's say you have a lot of dishes to wash at home, um, wearing gloves is going to help. Or if you clean at your job, make sure you wear gloves. It's going to help protect the skin around your nails. Another thing that you need to not do if you're trying to grow your nails really long is you need to stop biting your nails. I know that one can be really, really hard, but it's just going to make them break. It's going to keep them short. So if you bite your nails, try and stop. I don't know. <laughs> I was never much of a nail biter, so I, I mean, that's 
bad advice but and it goes without saying so I won't talk about it anymore so let's get into the fun part now which is what products that will help you grow your nails really 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 fast so like I said I've been obsessed with nails just like forever since I was in high school and I was always playing around with different brands of nail polish and different ways to make my nail polish polish I was always playing around with different ways to make my nail polish last longer because I loved having painted nails but I hated painting them like I hated how every three days my nails would chip so one of the products that I discovered, I don't actually have it anymore, um, I'll explain why later, but if you don't like going to the salon and getting your nails done, this product is amazing. It's Hard As Nails by Sally Hansen. I've gone through like five bottles. It's a thick base coat and you can put that over your nails and it's basically a nail hardener so it helps um, prevent your nails from chipping. So putting that on once a week, it's just gonna make your nails kind of look shiny. You can paint color over top of it but it's really gonna help make your nails super, super strong. I swear by that and I've recommended it to so many of my friends, like it's really, really the best. So picture of that on the screen. Um, if you do your nails at home, go get this product, it's life-changing. The next thing that um, started helping me grow my nails really long was I started doing shellac manicures at home. So I bought one of the lamps um, and I bought the gel polish and I started doing it at home. Eventually I just got sick of like the hassle of cleaning up after it but that works really well um, is just doing the shellac manicures at home. Basically it makes your nails stronger like with the polish it makes your nails stronger so that they don't break and um, the polish stays on longer and all of that just means that your nails can actually grow now when I noticed the craziest craziest growth of my nails was when I started getting gel nails or shellac nails so I'm not talking with tips and extensions really just gel polish that would make my nails grow so much and it's not because the gel makes your nails physically grow longer it's really because the gel protects your nail allowing it to grow longer without breaking so Doing this paired with the kind of healthy eating and maybe little supplements that I told you about, the supplements will speed up the growth and the shellac will really protect your nail. So those two in combination will make you have crazy long nails. Shellac isn't that expensive. Um, I know everyone's budget is different, but I did my nails with shellac all through university and I had a tight budget, let me tell you. I just made room for it and I let them grow out quite a bit because that didn't really bother me. Um, I'll show you guys a video in a minute of like how much I let my nails grow out even to this day because I just, I, I just graduated university, like I don't have any money. Um, so I'll show you guys that video in a sec. That's them, super grown out, really nasty. <laughs> yeah but um having shellac on your nails is really really going to help protect it make sure that you're going to like a good shellac place where they're not just like going to peel after a few days um and a tip a secret tip is this girl did this to me by accident once okay she did base coat uh gel like the color base coat and then halfway through the base coat she was like oh my god I'm supposed to be doing top coat but I did the base coat again and she goes it's okay you're just gonna have really strong nails those nails lasted on me a month and a half I remember I got them done at the end of July and I went to Vegas in September and I still had the nails the the color on and they hadn't chipped and my nails were so long and I was like this is amazing that's when I discovered truly truly the power of shellac now after that, I started getting shellac done all the time and I would always ask for the base coat on top. Some places don't want to do it because they're like, you're crazy. Um, but if you do it, do it if they'll let you. Um, and even if you don't, your shellac nails can last you up to like a month, a month and a bit. Um, sometimes I go six weeks without changing my nails and some people say that's gross, but I don't care. That's what I do. And I have nice nails for it. Also, the less you're going to the salon and like getting them you know taking care of the better because it is really hard on your nails to have them like constantly being filed and shaved away now my next secret that I discovered it's not that groundbreaking from the shellac it's basically SNS powder so I really prefer SNS I don't do gelac I don't do shellac or gel anymore I do SNS these nails I have right now um, are SNS and the reason I like it is because it makes your nails even harder than gel and this SNS doesn't chip so gel nails eventually will start to chip whereas SNS they crack so it's less noticeable um, and it's less bothersome and you have stronger nails so you can hear like 
the sound it makes. I love that noise. Um, you can text and like beep that bitch, you know? Um, I just love it. So that's SNS. So SNS is, I think, five to ten dollars, depending on where you go, more expensive than shellac, but definitely worth a try. Um, and since I've been doing uh, SNS, same thing, my nails just grow insanely long, and the SNS protects your nails, allowing them to stay long. So, yeah. The next thing I want to say is do not get acrylic nails. Acrylic nails will literally kill your nails. They feel annoying to have on. They're, they're just so bad for you. So don't go getting nail extensions. Don't go getting acrylic nails unless you want to, but it's really going to kill your nails. And it's going to hurt them more in the long run. Um, a common thing that people say is like, oh, I want to get gel, but I'm waiting for my nails to grow longer. Don't do that. Go get the gel when your nails are short and stubby and allow the gel to help your nails grow. Do you know what I mean? Without the gel, it's more likely that your nails will break and they'll never get to that length you want them to. But with the gel or the SNS powder like protecting your nails, you'll be able to get to that length that you want faster because your nails aren't breaking. And then you just keep redoing the gel um, and then that's how you get to having really long nails. My nails didn't always look like this. They used to be really short. They were breaking from working in retail. Like they weren't nice. Um, and it's not until I started getting my nails actually done and putting gel on them that they were able to grow this long. So this isn't the starting point. This is the ending point of maybe two, three months of eating good and having um, a gel or an SNS product on your nails to protect them. So those are all my secrets. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments how you like to do your nails. Um, oh, insert video right now of how long I grow my nails out till. disgusting um but you know that's the price so yeah let me know what you guys' favorite technique to do on your nails is do you do them at home do you like sns do you get gel i don't know let me know and stick around for my next video again thank you for watching and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye